Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another chapter of ethics. So this morning, we'll be discussing about the nature of man. So ako si sharing in your class, ang ako ang presentation. Okay, so I think uh, this is also one of the most interesting topic, no? Uh, I believe siguro tanlan nga uh, topic sa ethics is importante man yun, no? Aside from the fact that it could actually uh, catch our attention is something very interesting. Uh, dugang paana po nung uh, daga po taga makatunlan about sa life. Especially right now, kaning atong uh, another chapter which is the nature of man. This is also very important for us. So of course, what are the things that we are to expect? No, nga tong makatunan is kanino the question perspective in the essence of man. We have the definition of man, the composition of man, the end of man. And of course, uh, napudiano man as a person, a moral being, and the social dimension of person. So daghano kita, daghang kita o kanang makatunan. Okay, so we have basic consideration. So what are the basic consideration? We have Knowing man as an individual and as a member of society is fundamental in the study of values and ethics. So, of course, according values and ethics, it is not designed for anything else. No, it's not uh, actually being designed by uh, any other creature, no, except Satua. Because we as a human being, of course, we are uh, the highest among all of God's creation. But that doesn't mean na kita nagay pinaka superior no nga in terms ya uh, uh, no uh, uh, it's just so happened that we are created special no ang, ang essence there is that we are actually created special among other creations so we have uh, we have here no, to understand we have to understand the nature of man is a courageous task owing to his complexity and yes definitely true no if we can actually afford to study uh, other uh, other informations. No, we are going to study about, like for example, we study ta about sa kalibutan, about sa bato. So how much more? No, we, uh, if we are going to spend time studying ourselves, because that is something very important. So, kung makita no, uh, it becomes uh, very complex. Why? Because uh, sa ato lang gisulti kaganiya no nga kita we are uh, very special no among any other creation, creations also uh usa ta sa pinaka special kaayo nga uh, kinahanglan nga ato ang makatunan kung unsa day ang ato ang tinubdan isip usa ka tawo ug unsa ang atong purpose so with that uh, we also have this man is a complex organism for he is composed of physical body intellect and emotion. So there are lots of dimensions that we are to actually discover or we are to uh, venture. No, nga, ato ang lantawon dito, ato ang pangitaon, ato ang tugkaron. We have this uh, physical body, of course, uh, kita, no, na amagid ang presensya sa atong lawas. And uh, siguro, diri no, as mga Christian believer, we believe that we are composed of uh, this body and at the same time the spirit. Now, aside from that, uh, in, on, in the other terms also, it is actually or interchangeably uh, used by philosopher or science, kanina itong spirit, ma-associate the atong wisdom, which is also part of that is kanina itong intellect. Now, uh, we are considered rational. Why? Oh, very plain and simple. Also, part of that is kanina itong intellect. No? Unlike any other creations or kanina mga organisms or mga animals, of course, we have this highest form of intellect. No? Kaning ato ang kaalam, ato ang ability to, ano, no? to understand, to respond, to actually feel, to, to perform, and so on and so forth. Next, we have these emotions. Of course, uh, dili lami ang atong kinabuhi, no? o walay lami ang atong kinabuhi, if wala niya ang atong emotions. Which is, if we are going to, uh, shall we say, Atong tugkaron, where does this emotion actually came from? Of course, dili lang po sa tong brain. No? If we have that, uh, all of those important informations that are actually registered from the brain, the emotions also 
becomes uh, one of the functions of tong brain. And ganin, no, na, na, na siya, based on the signs, na, na siya yung particular parts of tong brain, which is the amygdala. Now, ganin, emotions na to, kung may gamit sa itong emotions. Of course, muna, sa akong pinunang daan, no, muna yung nakahatag na itong kinabuhi, it's because uh, without emotions, oh. uh, na, na, na gamit sa emotions, no, we can actually express our feelings. No? Atong ma-express kung unsa atong gibati, atong ma-express ang atuang nga na kwan by by means of kaning kwan no body language or facial expression so with that nga tuwa pong sikat tawo makasabot pud kung unsa ang atoang estado no sa atong gibati okay uh, like for example mingon tag happy mingon tag excited mingon tag sad mingon tag mad no and and so on and so forth so i think it's more than 100 emo emotions no nga naa sa tawo atong na makita diha sa atong emoticons now, part of that also is muna, no? we, we, we learn to actually relate with other people. Uh, we use these emotions also for uh, the purpose of communicating them and also to letting them know kung siya ito ang nagibati, kung siya ito ang uh, uh, kasinatian. Okay? So, let's proceed. Now, what is man's man and its definition? So, Diri, uh, according to science, of course, man is actually came from this uh, species or this Homo sapiens, no? believed to be the origin of the man uh, in, in accordance to the theory of Charles Darwin or the theory of evolution. So, yeah, no? that's not so good. No? Siguro, uh, for the others, they're not going to believe in that. But, uh, of course, there are bases also uh, coming from the fossil remains na yeah, no, um, ang tao di ay, as it actually interacts with the environment, of course, inevitably, nagin yung mga changes na may tabu. And that's part of this, what we call evolution. Okay? So, bio biological characteristic, kung sa ito yung mga biological char char characteristic, a man can actually use his two feet, no? And can actually, can walk, walk direct. So, at two, ano, mag-straight mag gita, no? Mag-lockout straight, unlike before, no, nga? Uh, coming from our uh, previous origin na mag, mura pag mag, magbako ang tao, no? O mura, mag, mura pa o ka nang magyuko ang tao. Mm. But right now, of course, na evolve na ang tao, o it actually uses its, its feet, no, for walking. And uh, of course, we have this actually free hands, no? Unlike any other animals, o ano nga, Ang ilang gigamit, ang ilang, uh, ang ilang feet, ang ilang hangkamot, parihara, no? they can actually hold something like the monkey. But at some point, of course, ilang pong uh, other functions of their hands is also a pilpudog lakaw. No? So we have man has complex brain than animals. So compared to the animals, of course, when you get a complex brain, you need to say it's complete. No? It has, uh, like when we are going to speak about the different regions of the brain, of course, Dako, daghan. Now we have the cerebrum, cerebellum, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, na frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, uh, daghan. So all of those uh, regions, no, which is, gitawag uh, siya regions, kamawag siya pinakadagko ng mga part, but when we are going to examine them one by one, of course, it's uh, part of the brain has its own function, no? The function of that is na, no? Naitig registered sa mga long-term memory, short-term memory, emotions, experiences, feelings, uh, na diha tanan. So, uh, that makes the the human person becomes more complex because kita, no? Daghan makaitag ma-functionalize. No? Daghan makaitag ma-perform. Daghan makaitag matrabaho. Ano? So, next we have behaviorally. Okay. So behaviorally, unsa man, man is rational, has power of reasoning, no? Kani usa gyud ka importante ka yo, no? Uh, in association with this what we call intellect, of course, we are rational because we can actually figure out, we can actually identify with what is right and what is wrong. Uh, we can also uh, by means of that, no? That is uh, the the process of discriminating things. Dili discriminate nga ka lang yung mong ipakaubos ka sa, but discriminate meaning to say you can figure out na between kung say sakto, kung say sayop, and you have to, you have that ability to reason out also with what you're, what you're thinking, no? based on what you feel, oh, na with the use of our senses. So, 
of course, uh, scientifically, uh, dako po gaya pong kayo purpose dira no atong man with the with the when we are going to cite a figure that something repre represents about the rational, this is something to do with our brain. No? He can figure out what's right and what is wrong. While animals are rational, they, they only have instinct. Some of them, it's not a surprise no, that sometimes, ato uh, makita, no, kan mga animals, they are going to uh, fornicate. They are no, going sa bisik asara. No? Mag, mag, kuha na sila, no? mag, mag sex ng mga animals. Unya, uh, the, the question is, are they aware of that? They are not aware about that one because they are actually driven by instinct. Now, take note, kanin instinct na to, because this is something to do with the survival. Now, sir, kano, kanang, kanang sexuality, sir, uh, kanang, kanang sex activity, part din na sa survival, yes. That, that is how naturally we are actually created. Now, uh, part of that, we are going to feed ourselves because we have this physical body that we have, no? We need to feed ourselves and at the same time, of course, part of that is this, what we call reproduction. Nagani. When we are going to look back on the uh, idea, if I were to relate the idea of Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, apart gini sa needs sa katao, physiological needs. Okay? Now, ang uh, na actually, if we are going to, if I were to discuss about this one, both of this, no? we have the, the human person is very complex. He, is, he has this rational capacity and the uh, instinctual uh, not, not rational, rational ability and instinctual ability. So, naaputa ng instinctual, di ba? So, sometimes, of course, coming from our instincts, uh, how did you actually come up to that kind of idea? No, uh, By just looking at the, the movement of the person. Right? It's because I have an instinct. I have the guts. That's how I'm going to Oh, kana mingon ka ngayon ka ah, ako na lang itagtagan na na nakudaan yung mong style, no? That is also uh, by the functions of instinct, okay? So, we feel uh, thirst, we feel hunger, hungry, no? So, because we have this instinct. Now, naturally, of course, that's the, the needs that are actually something dictated by our, our uh, inner self, no? Uh, mo siya gidictate sa ato ang uh, kuan, ato ang uh, uh, hindi siya po siya ego hindi po siya ego class, this, this is something the animalistic side of the person no? Uh, mo na siyang instinct, okay? Man has complex techniques of producing, procuring preparing and cooking food, and yes true to that, no? Producing, of course we can also produce our own food procure, we can choose we can buy as many as we can uh, we can do anything else like order baka or how you're going to prepare that one. So, na, na, no? uh, we are very complex. And uh, unlike animals, no, they cannot actually provide themselves a food. Na, 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 sir. Kanang animals, sir. Na, may, na may animals yung makaprovide siguro food? Wala. No? Uh, they are just relying on mga nangitawag ta. We are the stewards of God. Why? Uh, the, the other than kanino, kanina to ang, ano, ang, uh, everything that surrounds us, including the animals, especially kanina, mga pet, nana, they cannot prepare their own food. So that's the reason why we become stewards of God, meaning kita may magbalante because we have to help them also no, to survive. Muna nga, ayaw na tugunalan ang atong iro, no, ang atong iring. No? Because uh, maybe kung, kung sungkaban ang inyong iring, it's because na siguro sila yung mga needs na wala niyo na provide. So you have to examine also. Now you have to stand in firm that uh, we have to live no, by your reasons. We have to be rational. Na kaning mga animals, dooy mo na sila, no? we have to feed them. Dili kay unahon na itong ML. Nibahala na gawin ka o ng iro o ng iring. Okay? So that's just an example. Anyway, we have to move on. No? Human beings share curiosity. No, imitation, attention, memory, and imagination. I mean, the curiosity, of course, no? Uh, that's the reason why there are lots of tani, no? na mga, mga inventions, na other than inventions, of course, na mga in, in different fields of arts and sciences. Di ba? Uh, na mga study, na mga, mga sa inventions nga improve uh, na mga inventions sa una panahon, it was actually 
Like for, for example, arit na sa telephone, no? Oh, nyanay Alexander Graham Bell actually first created the telephone, no? Later on, mo na, no? Nanatay mobile phone right now, no? Inana, kagrabe, no? We share curiosity. Imitation, of course, we can also do imitation, no? We can also imitate, we can also, ano, ano, atong, atong parents, the way they act. So we are going to observe about that one and then siguro we are going to copy some of their uh, remarkable kaayong mga movements, the way they speak, uh, na, um, attention. So it's also a gift no, to the human being, kaning attention because you know what, oh, parihan, eh, for example, if you are going to uh, train the animals, uh, most likely the span of kanibang ilahang time nga mo, mo pay sila like attention. Layo or kanong uska oras. No, unlike the human person that when you let that person actually, when you obligate that person actually to like watch the video or study your lesson, of course, ila po ng pupusan. Di ba? That makes us something very special. Memory. So in terms of memory, we have that very uh, large uh, kanong mo rin USB o ato kang ipang pamulong. No? Sa ito ang brain. No? Naadiri sa itong cerebrum. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah, ang atong sa cerebro na to, all of the memory will be restored. Yeah, yeah, na siya both uh, long term and short term, and also imagination. So we can also imagine, di ba? That makes uh, that is something that could actually uh, give flavor sa atong kinabuhi. Na sometimes no nga, uh, di na ito ma-achieve ang usa kabutang, but because of the the kanibang uh, kaning gift of God sa tuang nga to we can actually imagine somehow it could actually uh, provide relief sa tuang gibati nga sige na lang no kung ano namin nga uh, kung, kung mangandoy yung langit ato lang lubos-lubos so no kaya anyway pangandoy rin na libre rin na okay so yung anak po siya nga idea so good no uh, it's really good to actually hear about that one because diha they know we can actually start with uh, the realization nga na litay pa no kaning gitaw to self value so we have to value ourselves kay nani nani mo data no mo na nga mingon diyan ni bugo uh, di ay di mugtuuan ang bugo ang tao ang tao dili bugo we are created special no uh, from god kita hinimo tas dios no we are we are very special gifted with a lot of this uh, things that we can uh, do no or uh, a lot of things which uh, makes us human being capable of doing. Okay? Uh, let's go to creation. So, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of heavens and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. I'm sorry, in the transfer is like, yeah. So, the uh, male, both male and female. Now, tinuod, no? Mau nang usahay, no? We have to take a pause for a little while. Okay, sometimes, no? Mungin mo ba't tanong, ba't yag na akong nakoy? I really need to change. We have this, what we call this organ of inferiority. Uh, sa termino pa sa psychology, no? Nga usahay, despite the fact nga, this is how we are actually created by God. Sometimes, it could actually lead the person to become or to have this uh, feeling of discontentment. Na no, usay di tama kung tinto no mingunta nga batik pa mo kay kugnangoy ako ning usbon ako ning usbon like this and like that which is wrong no you have to accept who you are because that is how God actually created you and always believe in this na ang Ginoo wala naghimo og tawo nga nga dili perpekto wala naghimo wa hini mo ang Ginoo nga batik okay so maybe uh with that kind of uh physical appearance that you have either you're you're satisfied or not satisfied but you have to be satisfied of course no ya yeah, to ganing basihan dre ginuom ka no if magampo ta ginuom mean to say we believe also oh, ina na usab no nga since you believe in god always believe that he created you perfectly okay uh you're a unique person no unique man gid no every individual so mo na siya nga ato ang kuyan okay also, the nature of man, a Christian perspective, we have coming from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man become a living soul. And true to that, no? 
uh, yeah, gikan sa Biblia. That is actually inspired by uh, ano, the sovereign author of everything. Though, na may mga manunulat sa, sa Biblia sa Diyos, na may mga sinulat gikan sa Biblia sa Diyos, hinimo sa tao. But, of course, that is coming from the directions of the sovereign uh, almighty. Okay? Uh, the Father Almighty. Labing makagagaho. Siya may nag, nag, nagkuha na, no? nag, nag, pa, nag, nag, kasi nga na, nipossess sa mind, sa mga writer. You know, you can imagine, we cannot actually imagine, no? These people do not actually meet. Huwag mo sila nag-meet, gani, lain-lain nga lugar, lain-lain nga hinirasyon. But uh, how comes that the writings are actually nagkakuhan, gina, no? Nagkatugma, gina. And even, dire, no? Gi-appeal po, dire, no? Uh, we are they, they squeeze the 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 clay, no, like a potter. So they have form of shape, and then when they form of shape, okay, they open, okay. So they know the Lord God made man's body from the dust. So but man was not yet living. So they know gamata, di gamata sa lapok. Move na ng naipanukyo nong a gikan ka sa lapok, sa lapok kung kapauli, okay. So the nature of man, Christian perspective, definition, five truths about man as a person are revealed in these passages. We have number one, God fashioned man from the substance of creation that preceded him. No? So, gikan sa, gikan sa pagkaabo, o pagkaabo, yun yung uh, kalibutan. So, di ha, gigama ka sa Diyos, no? gigama sa Diyos sa tua, kita'y hupan kita, no? ang tunatagan tayo kinabuhi. Okay? And uh, that uh, breath coming from God is uh, represents this what we call the spirit, and that uh, actually or that perfectly uh, created human being. Atong uh, bon, we are actually coming from uh, both body and spirit. So mo na siya no, mo na nahimo tang tao na malihuk ta ano? He is made in God's likeness. So kita no gigamata basis sa Basi sa ko ano pang pamayong sa tong Dios he was made Lord of creation. Uh, I'm sorry but the uh, Lord nga nagisuwat yano no, is small letter supposed to be that is a capital letter because there's only one uh, Lord. Okay? So the nature of man, the composition in the Christian view, he became a living being an organic unity. An organic unity we have this uh, the idea of dualism no? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, class. So, yeah, ato makita. No, the dualism. We have the body and the spirit. Now, an embodied spirit, a subject, no, human beings are also defined by having a human body. So, historically, philosophers have tried to separate body from mind and spirit, but there is now a consensus among cont contemporary Christian theologians that the elements are intrinsically united. Okay, way back, this is something relating to history. No, we have this. Uh, Major proponents of philosophy from the Western, we have Aristotle, Socrates, and Plato. Uh, Ganyan, no? ilan na interchangeably. Uh, sahay, ilan, they, they tend to, as mentioned, dira, no? uh, they tend to actually separate no? the, the idea or the origin of this, what we call the spirit, the mind, and the soul. But it's actually coming from the, the writings no? of the mga mga lain nga mga kwa no mga kasi tawag ani lain lain nga mga manunulat o especially theologians kaning mga pari unon or mga mga nagskwela nag pagka pari uh, actually intrinsically they are not separate of course di ba oh that makes the the, the 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 totality or the combination of the two are actually mo ni siya ang tao now how can you actually separate all of that? No? So, wala tao. Wala tao nga mumugna. Wala tao nga mutunga sa kalibutan if you are going to separate it. When kaning mind, bingung kag mind and spirit, you can never say, kaning, maging, kaning body, of course, di, it is separate because it is something that can be uh, sa distracted. It can, it, 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 it also, it is also temporal, no? Nakatapusan, na nasa time, no? Atong lawas, di ba? Nipirmaminti. Unlike aning atong mind and atong spirit they can never be destroyed no dili sila ma, ma, maguba okay ang spirit di man maguba okay 
But uh, yes, dili na sila separate. That is according to the view of Christian, which is sakto mapod. No? Sakto mapod kung atong lang taon. Dili mo ginano. You can never separate the mind and spirit because they are bound together. No? Bunga siya sa atuang kwa, no? sa atuang pagkagama, sa atuang pagkatao. And there's no any uh, scientific way, no? Because uh, can you imagine, no? Basically, when you are going to to, to to try separate matter, no? Matter to matter, of course, dili gina siya. Walay, walay any other forms of, you know, or any other ways that you can actually separate that one. Wala. It is just coming from the, the perception of every individual, like the philosopher, so that somehow, they can actually attain or achieve this uh you know, ang prestige okay that's how they 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 uh they actually created their idea so para pud la para mahimo lang unique no but uh nevertheless of course they are intrinsically united uh, the nature of man the composition of man according to uh Tilhard D. Chardin, man is a being who knows what he knows you know what man no we are the being who knows what we know no oh we are the beings who knows what we know all the things that are actually ato ang makita of the ano uh, i also believe in the in the view of this uh empiric uh, empiricism na idea you know why uh because of that experience that we have mo na no natin may balance sa kalibutan of the no you can never cross the bridge uh not unless uh not unless wala ka kabalog asa ka dapita mo agi sigana na pod nga kita sa tao na to dili pud ta kasulti og unsay particular nga idea not unless wala gina na to masinati di ba we also have this what we called martin hidiger no man is responsible not only for of himself but for all men so do not think that uh, you exist only for the purpose of uh, polishing yourself you are going to polish or going to hunt unsa pa ninyo wala you're going to develop only for yourself. It's not like that. No, we have to accept the fact that we are actually created. Uh, we are interconnected from each other. Both uh, kaning, kaning mga material and immaterial, uh, like animals and so the insects and so the other matters that actually exist in the world, we are connected with them. Gani no, mom na idea sa Taoism. No, ang idea sa Taoism, idea sa Hinduism that uh, you are created uh, with this you know, with this circle oh, yeah. they are upon, upon, upon your existence of course they are part of uh, they, they are part of your life that uh, you cannot just you know live all by your own without the presence of this matter we also have responsibilities do not do unto others what you do not want others do unto you sino na usab Nga in every actions that you're going to do, there is a corresponding, uh, there's a corresponding effect towards a two ang mga isig katao. Okay, we have uh, the view of also of uh, Messenger, uh, sorry, not Messenger, Monsignor Fulton Shin describes man on three level structure, body, soul, and spirit. Well, that's how uh, Monsignor Fulton Shin, but uh, he actually elaborated that one. According to him, no, his body, through his senses makes him aware of the i'm sorry through his senses makes him aware of the material universe so the ano ang atong body the ay of course uh the major functions atong body is kani atong senses no the sense of touch hearing seeing tasting feeling and the uh, any common sense that we have no nga uh mo puno siya no mo take process on everything na to ang sinati that is the, uh, with the help of uh, our body. Now, his soul, according to the idea of Shin, uh, also calls mind or psych or spirit, makes him responsive to other people and to our sciences, philosophy, and law. Tinood, no? Tinood man, no? Kaya kanina atong, atong spirit na to, mo, may makahatag o makadugan sa tuang, uh, uh, no? uh, you cannot be able, like, for example, atong usbon ganiha, no? sa idea nga, Ung lawas, ung lawas lang ka, merrily lawas, you cannot be able to move. No? You cannot be able to think. Muna siya nga, ang presence sa soul sa itong lawas is something very helpful. Kaya mo siya nag, nag, nagpahimo nga, may mong functional ang atong lawas. Diba? 
So, tungod kay nahimo siyang functional ang atong lawas, of course, we are capable of learning, especially kaning uh, kaning no, in the aspect of arts, sciences, the philosophy, uh, and law. Now we have to study also the nature and the purpose of law. How does this actually exist? Coming from philosophy, of course, the love of wisdom of everything. Uh, how does uh, can you know, how does uh, the, the particular matter actually exist? So the, the investigation of life, of course, with uh, the philosophy. Now his uh, spirit, uh, part of the idea also, uh, he proposed uh, facilitates a communion with God. So Aside sa ato ang kalag di ay, no? Napuno tay kalag nga spirit according to uh, Shin nga we have to, you know, we have there there's that spirit that actually needs uh, to unite with God. No? To communion means of course we have to unite, na? We have to um murag siya kung sa kwan pagklas ba murag mo fusion ta ba, no? Ato kita makig um paduol kita. We have to draw ourselves uh Dili lang near, no? As much as possible, we have to surrender ourselves with God. Okay? Okay, can you know? Uh, if you do not have that kind of, you know, goal in life, of course, kids may ganahan God nga dili mo ka-avail anong itawag na to everlasting life. No nga? Wala na mga kasakitan, wala mga pag-antos, wala yung kagutom, no? So, wala na mga munginilad. Okay? Wala na mga tulisan, mga kawatan, mga daug-daugan. Okay? So next, we have to move on. No, the nature of man, man's existence. So no, ang ato ang pagtumaw ni ni kalibutan body, which uh, represents us our meat. Ang ganito ng lawas na amte unod no. We have the bones and we have the guts, which ah uh, ah uh, kaniyo nag 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 emphasize ato ang stomach, ato mga intestines, so unsa pa nadiya no. And also ang ato ang mga bones. That's very important also because Uh, mo na yung nakahatag o ka ng figure sa itong lawas. Walay bones ang lawas. Ako yun, ako yung muntagwati. Okay? So, mo po na yung nakahatag sa ito ang shape and at the same time, also, the bones protect us from any forms of, kaling, you know, walang danger. Like, for example, maagian ka kag, maagian kag kahoy, sabud ka, wala kay bukog, agisi ka dito. So, so naanjo siya gamit, no? Uh, see how our creator actually uh, created human being perfectly. Now breathe, the air that we breathe, uh, according to Hebrew, uh, that is actual, actually, they, they call that one nishama. Now we have spirit, no? God's sustaining power, Hebrew, which is uh, also called chayim, no? Oh, spirit na to, uh, that is actually provided coming from God. Now mo na tong himo sustaining power uh, that makes the human person becomes functional. And uh, yes, like Aristotle, St. Thomas Aquinas thought that man naturally longs for perfection and happiness that this longing can be realized on earth. And uh, yet, according to Aquinas, such a man, though he has attained the highest possible perfection and happiness on earth, still longs for the infinite and the eternal. So, sa ato pa di ay, ang ato ay, no, uh, that, that becomes innate already. Kanibang desire of human being for his development, personal development, Itawag din man's power, potentials, whole man, universal man of Aristotle in his own view. Uh, later on, gitagaan o ka ng katinawan ni St. Thomas Aquinas nga aside from the fact that we are actually, uh, you know, we have that desire to to somehow uh, no, ma-attain ma, ma, ma na ito kaning o human perfection. But, you know, the reality according to kay kanin mo si St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Manisya, no? Uh, Tuo siya, nagtuo siya, uh, nagpa, isan eh, he spread with the word of God, inspired by the word of God na ang ato po kinabuhi na yan yung kalibutan na despite the fact of billionaire ka, and you are well provided in terms of physiological because you have that nindot na balay, nindot na sinina, na kay mga sakyan na, na kay mga negosyo, daghanggag kwarta. But still, there is that something that we, So man, ato agi hapon nga gipanginahanglan. Og kanang nga klase sa panginahanglan, kani man kalipay ba nga walay 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 kinutuban. Kalipay nga walay walay sama. No? Mo na ato ang gipangita, but dili di, na tanang nato makaplag diri sa ato ang kalibutan, no? Ah, uh, kay gitawag mo siya infinite and eternal. Gani no? Ah, uh, kaning I'm sorry. 
not infinite internal this this is something that has uh, limitations no unlike aning uh, perfection nga uh, mataga na sa tuwa sa eternal life no kaning uh, kinabuhing wala katapusan no kaning pagtuo na to nga right after our death this is not the end no this this could not this could not actually assist the the person or every individual to actually continue existing so after the age atong kinabuhi diri sa yuta diri sa kalibutan adu na pagiday kinabuhi nga katong yung kinabuhi nga wala katapusan no nya diha na to matagamtang man ang ino tiunay nga kalipay nya pero na pud na siya mga requirement syempre di ba so let's move basic consideration all the goods of this life such as money fame power health talent and even life itself are unstable limited and transitory at ino ano hindi siya unstable because you know di mo gid siya mag magpermanente limited it's only limited because we know the fact that we are we have this Kaning body, as I, I mentioned a while ago, this is temporal, no? Uh, it has the beginning and it has the ending. Wagi tay ko ano, di gingon nga kwa, wala gi exemption. Na wala tao nga di mamatay, mamatay gitan tanan. Okay? And so, ang ato ang mga talents, ang atong power, ang atong fame, ang atong money, di na ito madala. Okay? Sa ato ang kamatayon, wala gitay lain madala, no? But, uh, dire, and even if man had gained all of this, they cannot make him perfectly happy. Now, Uh, I have heard an article before, no, uh, coming from the King of Pop, claiming himself that despite the fact that he is very famous, there are lots of people who loves him, he has a lot of money, he have achieved a lot in his life, traveled everywhere sa kalibutan, but still there is that longing, no, deep within. Ngayon gipingin ang lang yun ayo kahaw ang So dili no ato makita nga tinuod man gid ay no ni aplikar ning ning uh, idea ni St. Thomas Aquinas nga ang atong ka kalibutan dire ang atong kalipay dire sa atong kalibutan di gina siya perfect no we are actually uh, na na and even if man had gained all of this they cannot make him perfectly happy so where can we actually found that uh, perfect happiness so dire in the transcend, uh, transcendental vision of St. Thomas and Christian teaching Man in his present state of existence on earth is mortal, finite, and imperfect. So the re, ultimate purpose to the end of man, so the attainment of union with God, where man is elevated to the rank of the divine, the immortal, the perfect. So meaning to say, we have to attain, no, by means of uniting with God, no, okay, union with God, man. So how can we actually uh, attain, no? This union with God. Napol siya mga requirements. Just like us, ato Roman Catholic, of course, nate mga napu kasuguan. Nya with that, mo na nahi mong garantiya na if you can actually, uh, or you can actually perform, or you can actually uh, nagatuman, no? Ato ang mga sugo, ato ang mga sugo sa Dios. Dako posibilidad that you can actually uh, avail, no? This uh, kaning kita ng nato grant ng divine. And uh, that rank and divine, of course, that is the only way that you can actually avail this kind of life, which is mahimong immortal ka, no? Ang ato ang kinabuhi, wala na katapusan, kinamatay naman, taghihubo naman itong lawas, ang atong kalag. Now, uh, the perfect, of course, as I mentioned a while ago, sa kinabuhi diha, no, ang garantiya diha sa Diyos, na kung naata niya, wala na yung maghilak, wala na yung mga kasakit, wala na yung mga kagutom, kauhaw, o wala na yung gubat. O diha. So, kita no, makikita ng kasunod kong gilita, ah, happy, gila yun ni kaning, ito ano, kaning, ah, uh, atong kinabuhi sa sunod nung, ah, uh, sunod na itong kinabuhi. Now, ang realization is, diha, ah, uh, does the human being actually cease from existing? Of course, wala. No? We never cease, ah, uh, it, it does not cease the human being to actually still exist. Okay, ni kamatay na to di man ingon nga wala na kita di na kita mo exist na lang yapon but uh, not in a kind of life that we have right now sa kalibutan nga napatay lawas no? the transformation present state and ultimate destiny we have perfect imperfect we have perfect finite we have infinite infinite we have temporal we have eternal or natural we have supernatural because we will no longer be eating we can no longer uh, feel pain we will no longer be Uh, striving for money, uh, striving for success, because 
you know, everything was already provided, human and divine. Okay. Next, uh huh. The power of transcendence in man. So of all creatures of God, man has the unique power to change himself and the things around him for the better. So kita na ano gito gahan ta sa Dios no among all of the creatures. Uh kita nga tao na tay we can we can actually do something no, to change ourselves. No gani gani no tinuod uh, even if we are the stewards of God gani sa ato makita karon no. Ah uh, daghan kayo no og mga mga binuhat ang tao nga nakapausab sa normal nga pagbuhat sa Ginoo sa kalibutan. But more again, no, ang challenge dia is, of course, if we are going to continue doing something, or oh, pag-usab sa tungo galingon, it is somewhat like we are correcting God's creation, meaning to say we're not satisfied, meaning to say it is somewhat like you are uh, telling directly to God that you are that the creation that you made is imperfect. So mo nga, it's it's wrong. About that one, no. So, kaya nga to agi na na realize at ng self that ah despite the fact that we have this gift, we should not ah ah reach to the moment that we are going to abuse, no. Na to ano lang ah ah pasagaran o gamit na to the extent na makapa makapa suko or makapa sagmuyo sa to ang a magbubuhat. So indeed, in accordance with this natural urge to be perfect and happy, we can improve and even perfect ourselves. So marvelously. Man can even transcend himself. So how? So of course, na may mga kasuguan, no? Mabdaning atong ethics is very important also. E kani nga subject na to, at least we will be guided, no? Ah, what to do, what not to do. Of course, no. Importante kay siya. Furthermore, the power of transcendence in man, of all creatures of God, man has the unique power to change himself and the things around him for the better. So naalig dey na, naalik na. So the death in man, for Aquinas, for when man dies, he does not really ceases to exist. Uh, as I mentioned a while ago, he merely transcends his mortal body life, his limitations and imperfections in space and time, thanks to the immortality of the human soul. So di ano, dapat mapasalamat yung takay. Kanilin kamatay yun day, sometimes na minguntan nga sa kita, anong kamatay yun eh. But gift man din na si Ginoo na to, ano man, kaya na no, right after we die, of course, Uh, diya na nato makita ang Diyos. Diya na nato makapamuyo o kauban ang Diyos. A just man at death transcend this mortal state by good deeds. By good deeds. So of course, take note no, from the word itself, just. Meaning to say, you you should always at all times apply this what we call justice. No? Kaning fairness. Ah. Dili gina ingo no nga. When we are going to, kani, itaw sa just, ang gisuggest ani niya in accordance to ug ato pang sundu, sundugon ang kaning yang gisuggest like for example parihan ni kuan ba ni Aristotle nga nagsuggest si Aristotle nga aron magmalipayon kasi mong kinabuhi you should you should live your life by virtue no virtue nga kanabang naka sa tunga-tunga no like for example mingutag sa kaon kung ang kaon sa tao kuwang di maayo pero kung magsubra po di pud maayo sa tao mo na ang, ang ang idea dire Um, tanang butang nga itong pagamuhaton it should be in balance dili siya dapat uwang hindi po siya, siya dapat sobra no uh, with that uh, mahimutang ano mo transinta no sa itong from, from mortal state by good deeds so diya no diya na tama ano uh, we believe karihan na to we believe that there is the presence of this what we call the what the impirno uh, kanang impirno Kaya could be tinuo, wa may nakasulti, wa may nakabalo. Kinsa may nakaadtog impirno, wala man no? but uh, that's how it was actually emphasized for us to be motivated to do with what is good. Uh, the, the transcendental man in the light of the wish, wish, uh, wisdom of St. Thomas Aquinas and Christian teaching, we see that man has a supernatural tran transcendental destiny. So na siya no, na siya uh, please check in say encyclical progression populorum which presented that the highest stage of man's perfection attainable to man's union with the all perfect being which is god you know what today you know kaning transcendental of course it can only be done with our uh union with god now man love and destiny to actually reach this supernatural destiny man should be elevated and empowered by supernatural grace which is love 
love is virtue, di ba? So, kana po, no, nga, muna siya mga tinugdan sa tanan other nga mga, other nga mga, kuan, virtue. No, respect, respect, unsa pa ng uban, peace, unity, o, oh, diya, love is, of course, is it is in the center. Nga, mag na naging unong, that we are actually created by God, uh, because of love. No, gilagibog mata sa Diyos. Next, this is the power of love spoken by St. Paul which elevates human beings to the rank of the divine to become children of God and heirs of the heavenly kingdom. So, pag atuang spread ang love, when we are going to do something in life without any complaints because that is being done by love, then of course, we can actually have it. No, we can actually avail. We can actually reach this uh, kanino? Kaling panaad. Kaling uh, Kingharian sa Diyos. So, so, low commands and compel, love only calls and invites. So, kaning balaod, pwede siya mo manugo. No? Pwede siya masugo. Oh, may ngayon tag-word nga, commands and compel. Of course, pwede su tumanon, pwede tu supakod. But love only calls and invites. It's not commanding. Love is not uh, taking command. La love is not something that uh, can be done by pinugos. No? But instead, it is a call and it actually invites also. Diba? Kung may pinugos ng gugma, no? sa atua di ha, if, if you are willing, then uh, good. No? Mas maayo if, uh, and also, you can also share and spread. So now, man as a person. So what is a person? Human. It can be stated that human being is a human person as every human person is a human being. So di ano? Ito na nakita di ano? Ito na sinati ng matag usa di ay Uh, we are human being. We are we are a person, and we are also a person of another being. Okay, so diyan, no? ato ang pung tagaag pagtagad ng dili lang day sa ato ano matagus usa nga uh, tungod na buhi ta, kita rin ay katungod ang uban wala magmanlupig ta sa bang tao. So we have to consider also their presence. Now three fundamental aspects of human being: deeper understanding. We have Human being is bodily, organic, and physical, no? Uh, as mentioned, na, na, ganiha, no? Human beings also integrated unity of life, a living being, a living whole, a one, an individual. So, we are a living being, you know, all, no? because we have life. We have uh, a living whole, you know, all, because we are complete. We, we have everything. We have all, all, all of these faculties, the factors, aspects, characteristics, a one. Now, of course, even if we are Uh, combined coming from the spirit and the body, of course, we are one, an individual. Human being is being with a temporal continuity. With the temporal continuity class, this is something to do with the beginning and the ending or the time. A being with a history and a being in time. Okay? So man as moral being, so unlike physical beauty, moral beauty is unseen by the senses. So di na nato makita ang moral beauty so sa katao, but is of the highest rank in the hierarchy of human values for In, uh, in moral excellence as is in good moral character lies the true worth of man. So sa hay din no makaingon tanong baliwala ang kaning mo gina no uh, baliwala ang kaning kagwapa sa usa ka tawo ang pinakaimportante ang batasan diha ang nakita ang tinuod kagwapa sa tawo. No? Kaya may usahay ang uban may o pamayong pero wala pa pumatasan mo na nga kani pong pagpangaplay og trabaho sometimes mingo no nga I, I will not prefer those intelligent people. Kimo na mga stubborn kayo, no? What I am looking for is I can still remember that one when I talk with my manager. Last time niya ningo siya nga uh, Sir Padro, you know, I do not prefer those intelligent people because uh, they have those tendency to become stubborn. Uh, what I am longing for is a person, you, know, you have to to choose a person uh, who is actually in average but in terms of uh kaning gitawag na to character. He is excellence because that person is money mas nindot no money mas gabi nga mulambo. Kaya magpatudlo, ano, ano, uh, they would love also to accept critics. Uh, that's very important. Now, according to Emmanuel Kant, due to man's gift of reason and free will, man is the master of his actions. You know what, Manu? We become the masters of our actions because we are also gifted with this reason and free will. Tagaan tag intellect sa ta sa Dios kitagaan po tani kagawasan the architect of his own life and destiny so ah uh, diha no to masabot diha nga 
since gitigaan ta ni sa, sa Dios oh, kita may na himong masters of our own manang usahay uh, mo bito po nino atong balikon ang relationship ani sa love if God actually nag-create sa tua dili pinaagi gugma pwede magutan niya i-program sama ng mga robot na you have to be uh, you have to to follow with whatever will be the things that I command to you but dili nga ana no gigama sa Dios pinaagi sa gugma tungod sa gugma gitigan ta kagawasan nga it's all up to you there is the heaven here and there is the hell here the torment you have, you can actually choose no on what kind of life you wanted to have are ba ka sa langit no are ba ka sa kani sa kaning kasakit <laughs> so ingon ana usab no nana ang pagpagi sa gugma sa Dios but eh, this is something na in relating in relation to categorical imperative kay mao gini kay Emmanuel Kant and yes definitely that's true also man as and himself man for Kant is the only creature who governs and directs himself and his actions so meaning to say you're responsible of yourself no because you have this gift of intellect you govern yourself in, on what to do you can actually direct yourself and even your actions also uh based on how it was actually processed by your brain or processed by your uh who sets up ends for himself and his purpose and freely orders means for the attainment of his aims so di ano kita no we can we have uh move na no nga gitigaan tag technique uh, gitigaan tao kagawasan kung unsay at may apply nga technique like for example mingon ko ninyo how to become successful so of course no one there's no specific formula on how to become successful there is that people who are actually struggling na differently uh ang uban nagstruggle sa sinugdanan pa lang uban wa magstruggle sa sinugdanan nas katapusan but one thing is for sure of course we will actually arrive on the same destination uh, kaning goal no so muna nga and you know you can order yourself you know, you have that uh you are you can freely order yourself uh based on what you actually desire now every man is thus an end in himself and should never be treated merely as a means as per the order of the creator and the natural uh order of things so kung may gipasabot ani no you have, you have to be the end of yourself like for example whatever will be the things that you do Ayo, do not do that one because you obligate yourself. You are actually being obligated by other people. Manin siya no, and ang idea sa categorical imperative. Since you have the freedom, you have everything, you have the, the full control of yourself. When you do something, say to it that it was truly you. The end is in you also. No, ko galingon nga. You should not blame someone else. No? You, in a way, Oh, uh, mom na mingon no. Ay ayo lang, ay lang ko buti sa kung gusto kay umasipyat ni ak ako ra magapoy magmahay. Sige na ana no, mo na gigikuan mo na gingon sa sa Dios. Bisag na atay kagawasan, pero take note no, you have to be very careful. Be careful what you what you wish for kay you, you might have it all. No? Mo na dia. No nga kinahanglan po ta, we have to be very responsible. In no way and by no means should a person be used for exploited against his will as a means to further the selfish ends of other person or group of persons. So of course, no one has the authority to, you know, dictate an authority to actually manipulate you, exploit you. Oh. Wala, wala yung pwede mang gamit ni mo except ang imang kaugalingon. So you have your own decision. Especially right now, no, padung ng election. So muna nga, sometimes we have to kwan, no? we have to consult ourselves kung kinsa gyud ato ang buteran na uh, deserving. Okay? Social dimension of man, the principle that all men should be treated as ends and not as means is bolstered by fundamental postulate of equality. So diha no? Uh, kita nagitay ko ano, nagitay kina matag usa natay kagawasan ang atong actions uh, that could actually uh, or eventually you know result different repercussions but set to it that uh, you are responsible you in yourself you are fully committed to accept whatever will be the the consequence that you might encounter based on based on the kind of decisions that you are kanay na imuha nga nahimo ana no and all men are persons gifted with the same basic rights and therefore should treat each other as co-equals. Now, mo ni siya, no? Nindot po kaya, no? 
Nakita tanda na po tayo. G- 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 we are also gifted with basic rights. Tama tanong? Tala pata makapaglaro, makapagliba, makapagpili. Ay, ano, si kung saan itong ganahapilion. And uh, muna, na we, we are actually given this privilege, given by God. So of course, do not think of yourself that you are superior among any other man. Because when you are going to think about that one logically, kanisya at hinukukan, we are all the same. No one is actually, you know, superior. Okay? On the basis of equality, human relations should not be impersonal, but on the contrary, should be interpersonal. Oh, no? Don't be impersonal. But instead, of course, you have to inter, uh, ano, interpersonal, perform interpersonal, meaning to say, ayo pag inusara sa pagalingon, no? ayo pag, kuan lang, no? pag imuha lang sa pagalingon, no? You have to relate with people because that is very important also. That is how we are actually designed by God. Uh, coming from a famous uh, sayings of Jean Jack Rousseau, a famous philosopher, no man is an island, meaning to say we cannot just stand all by our own. No, We need someone to talk to. We need someone to share our ideas. We need someone to uh, celebrate with life. And Kant's categorical imperatives, we must do good because we must. Okay? So, diya, no? Diya, no? We are obligated to do good. Sa ito ang kugalingon. No? It's our duty to do good. Ngano man, ngano na kayo mo si Emmanuel Kant. Now, take note, we have to live by reason according to Emmanuel Kant. Now, since we are gifted with intellect, so of course, kabalo ng gugagod, kung say sayo, kung say di. So, you have to obligate yourself to follow. As, as simple as that. You have to obligate mo siya unod sa categorical imperative. An action is good only if done and motivated by the pure sense of duty or out of pure reverence for the law. So diya, ka na nga, ayaw o tuman sa, like for example, na ibalaod, no? Ni tuman kas balaod, like for example, man, bawal manigarilyo. E mong ituman ang balaod, it's because you tend to avoid the punishment, No? Dili wala nimo gituman ang ang balaod it's because the ang end niya is not something for yourself the end must be something from yourself no wala ka man grillyo it's because di ka ganahan madaot imong lawas kana mo inindot kaysa wala ka ni 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 tuma it's because you you are uh, you you really wanted to avoid the punishment okay if done from any other motive the act may only be legal but not moral you know no Oh, kanang kana example no, na inbutan no smoking, wala ni mo buhat ka, wala ni garilyo. Legally, of course, kuan ka no, pasok ka diha, but in terms of moral, wala ka na full ka diha. Ngano man, no na full ka diha, first and foremost, you already violate sa imong gitawag og kagawasan. No? Imo nang violate ang imong kagawasan. Actually, you have the kagawasan. But what is good about that one or what is a must? to be applied about that one is, of course, you should use your intellect, your wisdom. What is that thing? Or what what would be the, the effect of that thing? Yung imuhang buhaton nga, diya, ang end, diya sa imuha. Like for example, mingon ka, wako maguyab-uyab kay, tungo di ko ganahan, mapilior ang ako magpapa. Now, do not say that one instead. No? Wow. Oh. Dapat ang imo ingon wa ko maguyaw-uyab kay para na ko sa kung kogalingon uh, di pa ko ready. Kana noon, no? Do not uh, make decisions out of something because you are being deprived or, or you're afraid to become punished ana no. So you have to make that one as your own. Okay? Make decisions di asa ko gulan. There is nothing truly good can say but the good will. So kanino ato ang kagawasan. Walay laing Maayo, no? Kundi ang ato ang kagawasan. But of course, we have to, despite the fact that natin kagawasan, we have to always use this consult, this one, and also consult, consult our heart for us to actually remain righteous and just. Now, Kantian's goodwill. In Kantian, Kantian sense, it signifies the free will of man ever motivated and inspired by duty. So we, our duty is actually, even though we have that free will, of course, we should always uh, be inspired with our duty. We do not, we di, we did not do that one because para nato that is something uh, towards atong end. It's not towards the people. 
goodwill which acts solely from pure sense of duty out of pure reverence for the law, no matter what the consequence or circumstances may be, is good in itself. So, do you know? Ang atua, di lang ingono nga, ni tuman taana tungod kay na ibalaod. Okay? But, but, uh, Kanina, no matter what the consequences or circumstances may be. So, ni, ni tuman ta, ito nga nahadlok ta sa mga, mga silot, mga nana, no, or mga possible nga mga circumstances. It's not like that. You have the goodwill. No, in your own, you can make decisions of yourself, which is uh, which is the best for you. Para imuhagyod, no? It's not for something else. It's not for the the dictates of the external uh that the external factors that actually dictate you on what to do. Kani telling the truth. You're just telling the truth because di ka ganahan nga tawgon kasi mo uyab og bakakon. It's not like that. According to the idea of categorical uh, imperative, make that one as duty. So it's your duty to do good because you have the gift of intellect. And to tell a lie is yes, sa pagkatinuod, blame gyud siya maayo para sa tao. Okay? Do not just be motivated to do something because someone actually dictates you or someone may actually inflict uh, punishment towards you. Okay? So to the summary, can't envision an ideal kingdom where all men are free, equal, prosperous, and happy. So three points, treat every person including yourself as an end in himself and not as means. So you are the, the end of yourself. The terminal of yourself is yourself also. Always act in such wise as to will your action to become a universal law. Doing good is already part of our nature. Madiana, tong Osbon, isa na illustrative example of course. Ang kaniyang pagbuhat o mayo na lang sa tong nature naka natural na sa tao pagkatao. Kagi mo ang tas ginoo, di ba? Di wong tagi mo sa ginoo ng abate. Gi mo tas sa ginoo ng matinuman non butan, no? It's just so happened that ah, kato pagkaon na sa apple. Dito na nagsugod na no, na nagulugulong buhay ng mga tao nga nagmasinupako na. But by nature, of course, that is how we are actually created by God. Buutan. No? Act as a rational and free being from the pure sense of duty. So you have to be rational. Use your uh, uh, reasoning ability. Use your intellect. You're a free being. You are a free agent. So make that one as pure as Yan eh, no? Ang imong sense of duty. When you do something good, it's not for the people. You do something good because you know yourself that uh, that's how you are actually being designed. No? Pagbuhat o maayo. Inana dyan na ang nature sa usap at tao. Dili kay buhat kag maayo. It's because hadlo kag punishment. Uh, with that, wala na ta masunod. Wala na ta mauban sa categorical imperative ni uh, Emmanuel Kant. Okay? So I think uh yeah lang una no. Uh salamat kayo sa tanan. Uh, I hope uh, you learn a lot with my discussion and I hope uh, that you're going to continue uh kanino uh, you you're you going to continue patronizing with whatever will be the the videos nga kuang i send na pod no. I believe uh napagita mga daghan kay nga pagatukion nga very interesting kayo nga mga topic um, sa chapter sa two ang uh, ethics nga subject okay so that would be all and thank you so much everyone have a great day